a bad way. If you don't believe me, ask Peter Black, <laughs> Ireland 2016. Peter's here today, thankfully, but uh, we just weren't ever sure that he was going to recover from the hysteria of um, listening to my jokes. So just be warned, maybe have a safe signal that you can give to each other if you become in danger. So that would be great. So congratulations, Marty, your fourth book. Uh, we are all so very proud of you. Um, I am going to let a little secret out. Um, Marty has actually written a fifth book. Uh, she has written her own mass booklet. <laughs> she has, she has, which is, it will be published. She will probably need 500 copies or a thousand copies. Um, apparently, obviously, Marty's children are the busiest children ever. You think your children are busy? Um, Marty's children are so busy that they wouldn't even have time to organise a mass booklet or prepare a funeral. So mum has already done that. Because she's all about saving time. Our time. So, uh, she, it happened one day, she rang me with great excitement. Um, she had been to a beautiful friend's funeral. And she rang me, it was the most beautiful, elegant, tasteful funeral that she had ever been to. And I'm really sorry if you're offended if you've had a funeral and she hasn't rung me after your funeral, but this funeral was really the best. So she uh, she rang me and she said everything was gorgeous in it and that she, that's exactly what she wanted. And I said, oh, well, tell me about it. What, what did you have that was so great? And as she's telling me what she wanted for her funeral, naming names, all of the grandchildren giving a roll, I got really excited too. And at the end I went, oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> stricken mum to do the eulogy anyway. So anyway, and, so, and then the other thought I had today was how you all, everyone here knows that Marty was Frank Dwyer's first wife and he, uh, and I thought I could just bring him back today for just a few minutes um, with a few of his stories. Obviously not as cleverly as and articulately as Dad would would do these stories, but I thought I would just remind you all, you've probably only heard these stories a hundred times, so here's for 101. Yeah. So, um, Dad's father in um, Parks was Nippy Goodman, and, and this story always cracks me up. But, so, Dad, he was out ploughing um, late at night, back in the days when there was no cabin on the tractor, it was just the old tractor and it was freezing cold and he'd have a balaclava and a beanie and scarves and jumpers and a big bulky jacket. And mum had already gone to bed, so it must have been well past midnight, and dad snuck in and he um, climbed into bed and mum said, oh, is it nippy? And he said, no, it's Frank. <laughs> Attach the 
toes to his back bottom. I love saying back bottom. <laughs> into his back bottom. And a solution was whooshed through his bowels to make sure that they were as clean as possible for the impending surgery. So he said to the nurse one day, so what's in that solution? And she said, it's just salt water, Frank. And he said, oh, right. So the next day, brand new nurse, she pops the hose in the back room and turns it on, does what she has to do. And he went, by Jones, that's salty. She's on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> yes. We really, really love it. We love that she can see everything our teenage children do. <laughs> it's awesome. And we're just so, and she's great on Facebook. My favourite Facebook moment with Mum was when she posted, she did a post, which was great, and she put Davies, Davies. Header burnt to the ground on the fourth day of harvest. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, no matter the end, David's harvester burnt to the ground on the fourth day. David had six weeks of harvest and LOL, laugh out loud. Right? And so I rang Mum and I said, You've got the people, David. Like, what's going on with David? Why are you laughing out loud about his header burning to the ground? And she said, No, lots of love. <laughs> <laughs> lots of love. So anyway, Marnie, I hope that we don't get to read your fifth book too soon. I hope it's many years away from being published. And I just want to congratulate you on this huge achievement and thank you very much for being our mum. Thank you. Thank you.